Hey, this is Prometheus giving you another live gameplay recap. Once again, rolling with the Cardinals as my offense, Matt Patricia, uh, Detroit Lions as my defense. I'll be using, once again, the Chicago Bears, uh, and I'm going against the Houston Texans, which is kind of a nice change of pace. Uh, Texans actually have a really good defense. They've got some really good skill position uh, players on offense, but their offensive line is butt-ass, and you're going to see where that offensive line uh, really sucks. Right right on the very, very beginning right there, um, I'm able to go ahead and get a nice little block shed, blitz up the the middle. Um, I'm going to be jumping around in different types of defensive sets in this game, so you're going to see me uh, basically shut this guy out with a, with a defense I haven't used at all, and I've actually had some Patreons uh, and some uh, members actually request me to build out uh, a scheme for you out of the 34 odds. So, uh, guys, I'll be letting you know I'll be I'll be uh, uh, probably releasing a full defensive ebook out of the Detroit uh, Lions playbook. I just think it's a very it's probably one of the most versatile playbooks in the game. Now, uh, I always try to establish uh, my defense out of the uh, 43 uh, strong safety blitz um, and the reason why I like that particular shell is that it just people don't see it a lot online so it's difficult for them to make reads uh, and if you go ahead and man up your safeties or put your safeties in different types of assignments it really will mess up people uh, as far as what to do and it kind of gives you an idea of what type of offense they run. Uh, this guy was using a lot of the meta plays. Uh, this is a nice throw right there but I was able to go and click on with Callahan and actually get a nice SWAT, uh, SWAT animation so second and ten situation he's just using uh, a shotgun formation it looks like it's a, a trio formation or trips formation. I tried to hit him with a blitz. He gets some really good blocking right here with, with Miller. Miller actually stays on his feet so he gets he gets the ball down to a third and one situation. Stays back uh, in a tight close. And I didn't get this defense set up. I was actually using um, the 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 nickel the nickel over G uh, formation um, trying to get some block sheds uh, he he stayed in the pocket and basically hits me with a little cross right over the middle so I don't get any kind of pressure and this guy's whole offensive uh, uh, attack was actually using no huddle and right here he gets really good blocking against uh, this nickel over G defense he gets a nice move right there spin move by uh, Miller to get the ball down uh, to the 10 yard line so I go into cover two right here try to take away the sides right there and he actually he dots me right up on a little out route uh, with this tight end and he actually gets the ball down to the one yard line and I just go into a goal line formation uh, I try to squinch my line uh, try to crash down and he's still able to go ahead and take Watson and dive in for a touchdown but right here he misses a field goal uh, actually an extra point situation so uh, there was a lag going on with our gameplay uh, it's most likely him because I have high high internet speed so uh, this guy actually I would have to say uh, mixed up his defenses a lot he actually had a run he ran along with a lot of different types of defenses uh, right here actually hits me with a fire blitz uh, with the two safeties coming in a single man coverage and he able to get me in a two a second and 13 I go into the uh, uh, ace slot offset and then drop into smash. And what I like to do on smash a lot of times is I like to go ahead and take that, that backside receiver and put him on a uh, slant round. But I read this wrong. Um, I was actually looking at the seam and then I, I felt like his guy was going to be carrying over to to uh, uh, to bait me. Uh, so I just took too long on it. Now this is a double post play um, out of the Y off and I'm able to go ahead and hit the backside post and that, that, that's how I was able to go ahead and pick up a nice uh, third down completion uh, on that particular play. So back, back on offense again doing the single back wing pair. I try to do a little run, run on the outside. And right here, I don't really get great animation. One of the reasons why is that I just have a tendency, this is something I've been doing for a long time, where I hold the turbo button. And it's, you know, it's just something I just have to get out of my mechanics. I haven't really played a lot of on, online games uh, just because of my schedule. Hit them with a lead draw right here. I'm able to go pick up some pretty good yards. Uh, I was surprised that I, I got an effectiveness on the run. Back to um, the uh, ace gun offset slot. Um, and right here, he actually goes ahead and makes a switch, and he's hitting me with a man blitz, and he gets a nice little uh, B-gap blitz right there uh, with uh, Clowney, and able to sack me right there on a man blitz. So I just I just didn't have enough time to get the ball off. So um, right here, I actually look to the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the outside route, that corner route, and get it down to the two-yard line uh, with that route. So that's one of the things I do like about that. If, if he's in the wrong coverage, you're going to be able to get an easy completion and get some pretty good yards after the catch. So um, I go right here and actually do a lot of inside instant run uh, good blocking for Cohen able to go and get the ball into the red zone right there so up by one point 
Uh, essentially kind of a tie game. Three minutes and 14 seconds left to go back to uh, the the one play. I got a strange animation with my defensive line. I actually go ahead and, and um, cause an incomplete pass. Go ahead and man up my guys right there. Go with hard flats. It actually hits me on a little out route. So uh, the way I was playing my coverages, he pops me on a little out route. So I come back once again to the same thing. I go into cover two and I go with a blitz type situation. He flips the play. Uh, so um, I think this time he's actually going to go ahead and try to do the out route with Fuller off to the right-hand side. Uh, I'm looking over the middle of the field, um, and I think he's running. Um, the, the, basically, you got two uh, mesh routes by the tight ends, and he actually makes a good play right there. So I, I choose between the two of them. So go back once again to the, the safety blitz underneath. I'm doing hard flats, but my defender can't get out there enough time for that for that hard flat. So this time he goes ahead and don't haul totals again. I go ahead and do cover two, but this time I do underneath coverage and I've got my guys in zones I've got the corner routes the, the out routes actually locked up he actually right there and I get a I get a nice little block ship with Lynch and I actually get a sack right there for second and 21 so he goes into uh, a shotgun formation I think he's in um, ace formation standard ace formation and I come out of the uh, uh, the, uh, the nickel 335 odd I blitz the outside uh, linebacker off the left hand side and this guy completely misses read I don't even have this defense set up correctly and he actually runs right into one of my blitzing guys and able to go and tackle him, uh, tackle him for another loss right there so third and 28 situation I actually man up one of my guys right here he tries to attack me right over the middle and uh, right there uh, my defenders actually comes down and actually makes a play on that out, out of the spy so I tried manning him up I tried to change things up a little bit he's in this tight formation and right here, I'm sorry, I look at Hopkins, and I'm like, well, i got to protect that corner because he's, he can expose me for a big corner route. So I take the read uh, right there, and he actually takes off this quarterback, and he doesn't make a good play. And right there, uh, Fuller's able to go ahead and lock up his guy and get me uh, in scoring territory. I'm in field goal territory right now because this guy went on a fourth and long type of situation. So that's just garbage ball, man. You never you never play garbage ball we're going to give your opponent uh, type of situation. Now, I saw cover three on that, and I knew that that running back route would be wide open unless he had manually defended it so that's why I went with that got a stack formation once again I was looking to the slot route uh, I could have threw that pretty quick but I didn't like the read and I actually drop it down to the running back so I got the clock ticking down a little bit here uh, 47 seconds left he actually took a timeout I do a little pitch route he's got really good lockup run defenses he's got a, a three defenders out there that are actually not taken up he takes another timeout he burns his last timeout right here and uh, right now I'm doing the it's like a, a little dig it's a little spot route what I like about it is a little delay I actually threw it right in front of his defender but you can kind of get away with that in regs. Uh, and I'm able to go and go up by another score. So going into the second half, I'm getting the ball back. So I'm in the driver's seat right now. All I have to do is just milk the clock, clock get uh, basically a, uh, a touchdown. I'll be up by two scores, uh, two scores and a two uh, and a two point conversion. So it's going to be very difficult for him to get back in the game. Hit the angle with Cohen, able to go and pick up a couple of yards right there, about uh, about uh, three yards. But that's all right. I just want to try to chew the clock down, start getting this guy nervous. Go back in the smash. And I'm basically looking for Robinson over the middle uh, because the other two routes are going to clear out. Uh, that's, so my, that's my read. And as you can see right there, he's wide open. I'm able to go and check it down to Robinson and pick up a first down. So just working the clock down as much as possible. Go back into the... Uh, uh, twin pair formation. He actually has got a guy using off, off the left-hand side. The guy doesn't pick up his block, but I'm able to go and get past him. And Cohen's able to go and get me additional yards after the first down marker. So pick up a good 11 yards or a 21 yards on that run. So that's good. Just keep him honest. So right here, I'm actually I'm trying to make some adjustments. I'm using the, the drive play out of the twins and I actually I, I just I miss misadjust so I just go ahead reset the play I'm gonna snap it sn stock look at the levels off the left hand side no defender actually follows going underneath so I'm just gonna check it down to him and pick up the yardage right there so second and one type of situation back into the ace formation I'm thinking run because I want to kind of chew up the clock and right there he actually has six defenders against my five blockers and as a result he gets a nice little tackle behind the line of scrimmage so I'm dealing with this third and one he comes in a man blitz because this guy was using a lot of man coverage so I'm going to go and hit the guy in the flat because there's just no defender out there so clock is just ticking down I got a minute and 41 seconds I just want to think keep chilling down the clock as much as possible come back to the um, uh, I form 
slot. Um, I actually I jump into uh, the lead draw. I didn't like the look, so I went into uh, a more conservative uh, run play right here. And I get fairly good blocking, but I, I don't take the right hole, and as a result, I only pick up two yards. But that's all right. I'm just working the clock right now. So once again, I go. I, I'm seeing cover three, just where the defense is set up. I go ahead and drag up my backside receiver Burton and actually put Cohen over the middle. Uh, defender does not fall. Actually, uh, the defender does follow Cohen, but I get a nice little inside pass lead, and I'm able to get the ball down to the three yard line and I'm just chewing this clock down. That's the most important thing right now is take down the clock. If I burn a full quarter and score against this guy this game is going to be pretty much over. So once again, go with a draw play. This guy was using a lot of man blitzes down in the red zone. It's just not what a lot of the top Madden players are doing. So I was anticipating this guy was going to be a little bit smarter of a player. And actually, it worked to his advantage because uh, you know it's I, I was just trying to prepare for those type of things. So do a little pitch play. Look at this guy. He actually comes right off the edge clean and gets me in a, in a situation. So beginning of the fourth quarter, um, I'm going to go ahead and try to hit this guy in the back of the end zone. Uh, I've got basically a, a deep in route on the back end side. I got two dragging routes to uh, preoccupy. High pass lead, and uh, my uh, backup tight end is able to come down uh, Brown with a ball going up by another score. So, <clears throat> this is where I actually go ahead. I started attacking him with uh, the 34-odd uh, defense. So I actually did not get this set up correctly because he was actually coming out in, uh, in uh, basically a full-out passing uh, formation. But you can see right here, I think uh, Cleo Maxing will come off the edge. This guy, uh, his default was to run into no huddle. This time I'm trying to actually pick up my middle linebacker so I can preoccupy one of the guards. I do, but he actually pops me the little out route. So this is basically his reads were these little out routes, and he actually he had, it was fairly effective for him. So once again, try to go ahead and do a blitz. I'm trying to go right over the middle right there, miss a tackle. He actually goes ahead, and makes a little move, move right here, twists back and loses yardage, and drops the ball right before uh, the line of scrimmage. So first down attempt. Go ahead and set up the blitz once again, right here. I got to preoccupy the guard. I preoccupy the guard, but he actually goes and rolls out right into my uh, into my contain. So once again, coming back with the same type of blitz. This time, a Cleo Mack comes right off the edge. I almost get an interception right there by Fuller. So third and 18 situation. Going to go ahead and stay with the same blitz. He seems to be having a lot of problems with it, but because he wants to try to hit those outside outs right here, Cleo Mack comes off the edge again because he's not blocking anybody additional. So now he goes in a fourth and 27 I switch things up I, I can't you know I can't give up anything big so I go into a double three pitch and you can see these guys come right off the edge and that's basically about it the guy checks out so once again to my subscribers thank you for your support to my patreon members thank you for your support guys and I'll be rolling out more gameplay with the Cardinals thanks a lot